everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel whichever the case may be my name is Rachel it's been a very hot minute since I've made a video using my overhead camera which is my iPhone and a gooseneck so please bear with me as I am trying and I'm doing this in my living room because I feel like garbage and I don't feel like going up into the office I apologize but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys so I'm gonna do my ribbon technique today and I just went ahead and wrote out a word aloha seems fitting as we are going to Hawaii later in the year and it's freezing and I'm just ready to get my aloha on in Hawaii so the first thing you're gonna do is pick your word write it out you kind of want it to be on the fatter side because it's going to look better. And then what I'm going to do is make a new layer. I'm going to select my Aloha layer. Tap on my layer I just made and click fill layer. I'm going to go back down to my black layer and move it down a little bit to get a drop shadow and I'm gonna drop the opacity way way down and I might bring that out a little bit more and drop the opacity just so it's barely there but it gives you that popping off that screen So I'm going to select a new layer on top of my two Aloha layers. I'm going to select my colored layer for Aloha. Select. And I'm going to go up to my layer that I just created and go into my airbrushing. Go to my soft airbrush. Make this black. And everywhere where there's like a curve, I'm just gonna come in here with my air, oh, that's too big. Make sure it's on the small side. Anywhere where I feel like there's a curve, I'm just gonna come in and lightly add some shadowing. A little bit more shadowing in the beginning and kind of fade out. And as you can see, it's going to make it look like it's curving on top of it. And we are going to lower the opacity, so it's going to look a lot better. So right here would be another curve. So kind of lighten up your pressure as you go. Down here. And as you can see, I've kind of gone over here, so I'm going to go in with my eraser tool and just kind of erase that. And already that looks like it's folding over and giving that a shadow. I think I'm going to darken this up a slight bit. And this. I'm going to go up here. I want that right where that creases so it looks more realistic. You can do it right here.
and you just kind of want to do this process through your whole word. Okay, so now that we've finished that, the reason why we put that on a new layer and that is important is because we're going to drop the opacity on that. I've got mine at about 50%. You can unselect. And that's pretty much how you get that ribbon effect. You can take it a step further and make a new layer. Stay on your soft airbrush, go to white. Select the Aloha again. Go back up to your blank layer, depending on how big your word is. You can adjust the size. You just kind of want to add some highlights to it. And it's really important that you select your word layer because I cannot color outside of what is already colored. So I'm not going to accidentally have my brush too big and color outside of my word which is really nice so definitely make sure that select that you have selected your word and there you have it super easy but it looks really nice. It adds that extra touch to your letter, your lettering, sorry. You can duplicate that layer, go in with a Gaussian blur if you'd like. That also adds a little something there you have it. I hope that you guys all found this interesting. If you are in my Facebook group, definitely leave your work in there so I can see it. If you're not a part of my Facebook group, that information is below. I hope that you guys all have a wonderful hump day and I will see you guys all in my next video on Sunday. Bye!